trust the Lord with your children because they were his before they were ours and he loves them. The greatest thing we can do for them is really be prayer warriors for them. You have a daughter who is in college and she is just a hard worker. She's very diligent. And I think sometimes as homeschool moms, we have this idea that all the other moms have it all together. All the other dads have it all together. And they've done so well in their parenting that their kids are all diligent. They're hard workers. They're amazing. And some of us are sent back going, but my kid's not that. Like my kid is more laid back, relaxed. I wouldn't say necessarily lazy, but you know, some kids are lazy. They're just by nature. They're just not go-getters. They're not hard workers. Mm -hmm. With your kids, how have you managed to teach them to be hard workers? And I would imagine that with 11 kids, you have some who are maybe just not bent that way. God just didn't create them that way. Um, talk, talk about your journey with that a little bit and what that has looked like for your family. Sure. Yeah. So we've always um, believe very important to teach our kids to be hard workers. There is so much of that that you can teach, and there is so yeah. much of it that just um, they are naturally inclined that way. I have both, like you mentioned. Some of mine just were naturally bent to be hard workers. You know, we have to do two things. We have to be faithful. And so in, in terms of teaching character and teaching hard work, you just, you give them responsibility. You give them um, instruction in that. You be an example of that you praise other examples of that. You know, there are a lot of different specific ways that we can teach that. Yeah. Um, but the other thing we have to do is remember that God has created all of our children very uniquely, very differently with different strengths. And so we can't compare them um, to each other or to other people. I had one child in particular that was um, very difficult for us. And I won't go into a lot of detail, but it was just a long, difficult journey. And the things that I wanted to teach him, I just wasn't seeming to be able to impart to him. And um, eventually I just continued to be faithful and I prayed and I prayed and I prayed yeah. and I gave him to the Lord. And the Lord has done an amazing work in his life. And he is just a completely different person now. Mm -hmm. um, he ended up going into the Marines and I think he learned a lot of good lessons there, but the Lord has really turned his heart. And, you know, he comes home now to visit and he will just uh, go into the kitchen and start washing dishes. And he never wow. ever, ever did that before. Um, so I, I tell people that to give you hope if you have one, because we, we had gotten to a place where a lot of times we had felt hopeless and like we had failed him or, you know, had done something terribly wrong, but just trust the Lord with your children because they were his before they were ours. And he loves them more than we do. And he has a plan for them. And our, our job is to be faithful. We don't need mm -hmm. to despair. And we just need to, uh, the, greatest thing we can do for them is really be prayer warriors for them. I so. love that. Christy Clover talks about getting your knees dirty. And what mm -hmm. she means by that is to just get on your knees and pray. And yeah. that's through every part of parenting. I mean, I, you know, no one is going to pray for our kids like we will. They won't even pray for themselves the way that we as their parents can and will pray for them because oftentimes they don't even know what right. they need prayer for. <laughs> right. You know, they might pray for, you know, the next amazing thing that they want to happen in their life, mm -hmm. but they're not going to pray typically for their own character and their own development like we will as their parents. And so what a great reminder that God is so faithful. And I love that. I love that you set that foundation for him and that the Lord is faithful to bring him to where he is today. And, and what a beautiful thing to have him come home and, and, and do the thing that, you know, through all his years at home, you were trying to get him to do. Yeah, it's been, it's been a real sweet gift, really, to watch the Lord work in his life. So hang yeah. in there, mamas, hang in there. And you know, it doesn't always turn out that way. Mm -hmm. But still, our job is to be faithful, to do what the Lord has called us to do, to train them up, um, and to build character into them. Homeschool Insights is sponsored by CTC Math. If you're looking for a great online math program, visit ctcmath.com and try it for free. For more great homeschool inspiration and resources, listen to the Schoolhouse Rocked podcast every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 